hand in Asian Peter Brown Panda here. If you want to change the blades on your lawnmower, you might want to get a lawnmower lift. Hey guys, I've got a riding lawnmower, my Poulon Pro. Really love it. Want to change the blades on it. That's actually been pretty hard in the past. I've used those some of those drive up car ramps to kind of get under there and do that. But I thought, man, there's got to be an easier way. And it looks like someone invented it. This is a lawnmower lift. This one is by Pro Lift. It's pretty typical to the many of the ones that are out there. It doesn't lift the whole thing up. It just lifts the front end up, which gives you access to the deck without having to drop that deck. It gives you access to underneath the mower. So if you want to do some maintenance, those types of things, I think it's going to make it a lot easier. Now, they do come in a variety of sizes and weight capacities. This one is for 350 pounds, which looks like um, should work on mine uh, based on the reviews. Now, if you want to go overboard, make sure you're ultra safe. I would certainly recommend that. Please don't take this video as an endorsement of using any particular uh, weight capacity with your particular mower. But I think just for getting this off the ground, getting under there, being able to do some quick stuff without making it a really big chore, it's going to be really, really awesome. Now, the box here isn't that big, but it is pretty heavy. So this is what we get in the box here. This is one of the carriers for the wheels. What I can show you here is everything seems like to be pretty nice and robust. We have uh, all metal tubing here, this bar in here, I think for kind of bracing it in, you know, maybe uh, making the adjustment for how big the wheel is. But right here on this side, you can see uh, there is like this rubberized coating on this edge, which is kind of nice too. So. Pretty heavy, like I said, everything about this is pretty heavy. We do have an instruction booklet here. Kind of see what it looks like. It looks like um, just kind of almost like a floor jack, a really giant floor jack. And so that's eventually what we're gonna to build with the jack in it. So you do get like this bottle jack. That's what we're gonna do the heavy lifting right there. Uh, oh, the whole scissor mechanism. Actually, most of the pieces here look like they come assembled. So. The bottom floor piece here looks like that's assembled. We get the handle for the jack right there, and I've got other stuff falling out. The other carrier for the wheel right here, and then oh, this little panel. We'll figure out where that goes, and then the uh, floor assembly right here. Like I said, this thing is really already put together, so I don't think we're gonna have to do a lot of assembly, which is kind of nice. And it's pretty heavy, so it seems really robust. We have some notches in here, which allow this part to go down and then kind of lock it in place. And then we have another piece here, which I think is gonna be part of the handle. So uh, I'm gonna read the instructions and we will put this all together. All right, so it looks like the first thing we have to do is this piece here is part of the lifting assembly. And it has some pins in here with little cotter pins. So we're just going to install that. There's a couple of holes down here and we're gonna install this on the inside. now. I'm not sure if these need to be up or bottom, the, the, these braces here, I don't think that really matters. But what's, in, what's gonna happen here is that the bottle jack is gonna go in here and that's what's gonna push up this, lifting this whole scissor mechanism. So I'm just gonna take out these cotter pins or some washers there. I think you're gonna want those on the outside. And then I think we are going to just be able to put this uh, together here. Run this pin to the outside, just like that. So far, I'm pretty happy, no tools required. Now, I think tools are gonna to come into play a little bit down here. So you can see there are two screws and washers on this base plate, and we have two holes under the bottle jack here. Now, you're going to want the release valve of the bottle jack facing out, because this is where the hole for the lever is also gonna go in here, so that's all gonna be facing out. So I'm going to loosen these up, and then I think we're gonna to have to lift it up but then I think these will just kind of all screw together and you probably are going to want a, a wrench to just tighten that down and make sure that that does not come out. All right, and now the one thing is to keep in mind, even though the screws came kind of uh, poking up through the bottom, you actually want to install these uh, going back down into the base here and then putting the screws, the washer, and the nut on underneath. And then like installing this panel here, you actually have to take out this, this cotter pin and pull out this pin because this will go right on the top of the bottle jack. And because the jack is basically all the way down and compressed, you actually will probably have to lower the deck back down. And you might have to pump up the bottle a little bit to get this lined up. And to do that, here is the foot pedal for pumping up the jack. 
there's a little screw in here to put it in place permanently, but you might have to put this in and pump the jack a little bit to get everything lined up. All right, now that we got that set up, we're gonna put these wheel brackets in and it's kind of interesting. I wanna make sure that I put these in the right way. Uh, but what you're gonna do is you're gonna take this wheel bracket and you can see this angled end and that's gonna point out opposite of the side you would be on pumping this thing. And what's also a little funny to me is that this is going to be slanted up. I would have actually thought maybe it should be like this so that you can drive up on it, but kind of makes sense. This is the rubberized portion here. So these go in here and they have a little push button, kind of like tent poles, that kind of thing, to lock it into place. And so you're gonna put it in like this and push it down here. You can see the little holes in that deep tent should hold that sucker in. Then you put the other one in, same way. And you can see they are angled and sloped towards the lawnmower. So you're gonna kind of drive it in, and then as it lifts it up, they're gonna kind of flatten out. Now, there are another set of holes here, so depending on how wide your mower is, you may end up using these inner detents. And I think, you know, I have a smaller 42 inch deck riding lawnmower, and my guess as I'm eyeballing it here, it's going to be that these inner ones are going to be the right width. Cool. And now we're going to put on this bracket, which is going to hold the handle in place. You can see here we have uh, some threaded bolts and nuts, and that's going to go right up here. And so this is going to hold the uh, handle on. And these nuts actually don't go through any holes there. They are just going to kind of brace the sucker against completely around this pole just like that so and I think in this case what I'm going to want to do is have this little notch piece here at the top so you can make sure that that's locked in visually as you're tightening it down but then this bolt will just go through there and then you'll just tighten these suckers down with a wrench now that we've got that in we're just going to take this little foot paddle here and that's what it is a little diamond plating on there and we're going to put that into the receiver here and there's a little hole and it comes also with a little Phillips Head screw. All you need is a screwdriver to install this. Start that with the hand. And the last thing we need to do here is just put in the handle like this and it just kind of locks into place. And that's pretty much it. Right, so the great thing about this is it's all set up. Uh, you don't need a lot of tools, a wrench, uh, or adjustable wrench at least, but a socket set probably make it even a little easier. This is how you're gonna lift the sucker up. Those little bars on the side are going to allow you to uh, lock in place as it goes up. This bar really is just for, as far as I can tell, I'm moving it around. So if I uh, use this handle, you can see the little caster wheels on all four corners that allow me to move this around pretty easily. There is a release valve right here on the back of the pump, and so you're going to make sure that that's tightened so that it pumps up clockwise and untighten it counterclockwise, and that's going to release that pressure and lower it back down. And so I've got it tightened up there. And if we just step on the pedal here, use the handle to keep holding this place, you can see that going up. So that's going to lift up your lawnmower and get you kind of serviceable clearance area. So now we got to try it out. Now one of the things I'm going to do here is I'm going to actually remove these bars because I think that's actually impeding my wheels from kind of locking into place far enough. you want the wheels securely in the basket because that's going to hold it in place as you're jacking the sucker up. So now I'm going to go ahead and start pumping it here and see if we can lift this thing up. Ooh, there she goes. It's got pretty good travel per pump. And what I'm noticing here is I've braced the back end of the lift here because I didn't want to push the lift and uh, run, you know, kind of run over it and push it into the wall. But what it's doing here is it because of the way the lift is cantilevering over it, it's actually pulling the lift on the wheels back underneath the mower. So this is pretty great. I love it. All right. Look how high that sucker gets. I don't know that I need to put it all the way in the air, but that's great. It's going to allow me easier access to that deck than I've ever had before. Now, obviously, if you're going to do any maintenance on your lawnmower, you want to make sure maybe you chalk your wheels, pull out the spark plug out of the mower so that you don't actually start it, accidentally start it up. But look at this, man. I can get under here, no problem. I can get access to the blades. You may want to use some jack stands, like I said, to protect yourself. But, you know, on a mower like this, it's about 400 pounds. This 350-pound lift is, you know, holding up maybe half that weight. Uh, this is going to be great. 
Look at that. And it doesn't take up much space. And then to lower this thing down, all you have to do is lift up these uh, guards here, these stops, and there's a little metal pincher right there. So if you push it all the way down, it'll hold that in place. And then you wanna take this handlebar out because there are little slots on the end, which will go onto this release valve. Then you just turn it counterclockwise. And as you can see here, it'll continue to lower your mower all the way back down. So it's just as easy as that. It means that you can do maintenance right in your garage. If you wanna pick up this pro lift, I will put a link to it in the description. I'll tell you what, this thing was only about $85 shipped. Link in the description, Peter Von Panda out.